guys, what's up? It's Cecily and it's This Week in Rideshare News. An Uber driver suffered a stroke earlier this week after a knife attack with his passenger and his wife explained that her husband was in the hospital while their car that he rented was in police custody um, and Uber still charged them for the car. So the wife stated that she reached out to Uber and received an automatic canned message. Uber needs to change. They need to have better communication with their drivers. Uber has since reversed the charges and offered an apology for the family. And had this story not received national attention, I wonder if they would even have to pay for the car. What are your thoughts? A jury finds Uber driver Michael Hancock not guilty of first degree murder. This is a widely publicized Uber driver versus passenger case, and it's finally come to a close, guys. Hancock was charged with first, first degree murder. He killed his passenger, Hun Kim. Denver, Colorado police said Hancock fired 10 rounds from the outside of his vehicle at Kim while he sat in the passenger seat. His lawyer said it was his right to defend himself because he feared for his life. And he also pointed out that Kim had some complaints from another Uber driver in 2017. His family says that they are happy that their son is able to clear his name and he's ready to get on with his life. Michael, how does it feel? Go, babe, go! How, how does it feel? My God, just give me a big old hug. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, I didn't know what was going to happen in this case. Um, I'm very surprised at the verdict, and it's a sad situation on both sides. And I'm hoping that Hancock can move on with his life and doesn't have to deal with the implications of being involved in this. Who plans on having to defend themselves like this? It's just, it's a sad situation all around. Should you tip your Uber driver? A few years ago, I compiled a list of reasons why people don't tip their drivers, read excuses. And a lot of people still respond to that video to this day. Well, there's a bunch of reasons why you're not receiving tips and I'm gonna give you the low down and dirty on all of the reasons why people may not be tipping you. So this morning, I um, came across this video by Vox.com called, Are You Supposed to Tip Your Driver? And basically it, goes into the confusion behind it and goes back into like the history of rideshare driving when Uber used to say that the tip was built into the fare. That Uber and Lyft were just like showering their drivers with money so that you didn't have to tip. I've always thought that the tip was built into the cost. Remember that? That was a lot of rate drops and pay decreases ago. <laughs> but if you're interested in seeing more on the topic and how they explore the whole idea of tipping and what folks have to say about it, check the link in the description. A Lyft driver caught a glimpse of the Sandalwood fire in Southern California last night while she was on the app. Currently, there are three fires burning in Riverside County, Sandalwood, Reach, and Eagle, covering over 800 acres. In response, Lyft is offering two free rides for those affected by the fires to evacuation centers. And I don't have any information on any uh, additional compensation for drivers in that area, but if you live in those areas, please have an evacuation plan in place and if you do plan on driving to those areas or in those areas, use caution and trust your gut. Now it's time for my favorite segment, what would you do? Now Crystal writes, y'all, I am so scared. I just picked up a couple. They were both carrying full heavy duffel bags. I thought they were gonna go to the airport or something. They were going to Walmart. As soon as I let them out, she went running into Walmart and he ran around the side. What if they're going to blow that place up? It's probably something innocent, but that ish was crazy. You see two people with duffel bags run towards Walmart. One runs in, one runs to the side. What would you do? Would you stick around to see if anything's popping? Would you call the police and 
say there's some suspicious activity, would you say something to someone just so that you can make sure you would be implicated in the alleged crime that was about to take place? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. I hope you guys are safe out there. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Do that right now. If you're not subscribed to me, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive where I talk about all things ride share, gig economy, and starting your own business. It is a pleasure to service you yet again and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care and have a wonderful and financially prosperous weekend. Bye.